guys what's going on and here again we're out again so i'm out here with saul he's behind the camera there but uh we're going to get out a little 118 scale cars so i've got the brand new maverick adam there and saul's got his wl toys what number is it 184 <laughs> 184 uh, all both stock standard. His is brushless, mine's brushed. Friction shocks, they're terrible. That's going to get an upgrade, but mine's also going to get a brushless upgrade as well in a near video future. In a future video. And also, it's going to get a 3S ESC put in that as well because 2S is just never fast enough. So, yeah, let's have a bash with these and uh, yeah, let's go. Doesn't matter what size car, I bash it like it's a 1.8. All right guys, so obviously this is my first time taking it out. As you can see, that's what is on the inside. You can see that it does have a brush motor in there. Got the two-in-one combo ESC. And what's good about this, even though it's got a different connection on it, it's still got three wires to the steering servo. So I think Saul's done it already. He's already done a cut and shut and you can put on your own 3S ESC. And all you gotta do is like, obviously just cut these wires, make sure they match up to the same as the new one and just your two power wires for the motor. Simple as that. The only thing you won't have which I'm not real fussed about is your headlights on the front there and obviously there's another wire under here for your your top of your of your roof lights there but for me I don't really care about the lights not a big fan of these two-in-one ESCs not sure if I was going to bring a 3S do you reckon they'll run on 3S Saul the motor oh the speed, the controller. speed controller I don't think so no nah, I was going to risk it and bring a 3S battery to plug it in but I don't think it's going to go so uh yeah we're just going to scrap that all together, but I will be changing it just for now. Not on this video, but I will change it to a brushed uh, 3S ESC and uh, still keep the motor. But then later on, obviously, like I said, change it over to a brushless one. Um, I've got a spare at home. It can fit a 20, I think it's a 24, 28, I think 28, 30 can nearly fit in there or 35. So they would just fit, fit in there nice and snug and my ESC is nice and slim like this one here. The remote is super cheap, super light. Man, it, like you can see the size of my hand, like it's actually hanging over the uh, the back of the uh, the brake, the brake uh, handle there. So I've really got to squeeze my hand in and modify my hand to make it work and to make it like fit in the grip there. So it is super tiny, good for a child this one here. And it's a good uh, entry level starting point, this little Maverick Adam. I picked this one up on Hobbyco on the Hobbyco website. It's an Australian website for $78. So they're going cheap at the moment. So I will leave a link in the description below where to get one. Uh, other stores have them for about $99, but Hobbyco was the cheapest at $78. So yeah, and blue is pretty cool too. All right, let's go. Steering trim is all over the shop. So I haven't done nothing yet. Throttle trim is full. Steering trim in the center now. No other buttons on this thing. Everything looks fake and dummy. Steering wheel grip is not bad either. All right, let's go up on the dirtier a bit. Let's get this trim fixed a bit. So, uh, like I said, just running on 2S. It's only just a uh, just a little lie-on battery at the moment. Oh, there's a bit of cutout then. It's only on about uh, 10 meters. Like I said, guys, a great starting entry level for uh, for young kids. If you got a birthday coming up, great little car. Can't damage it. It's great. That's at full throttle at the moment, and that's more than enough, you know, for a young kid. Can't make too much damage with this thing. Not at this speed, anyway. All right, let's take it over some jumps. How are you going there, Saul? Good. Having lots of fun with my little car. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah, not quite enough power to clear a jump. <laughs> not at the moment. But that one is. Once I upgrade this to a brushless system, should be right to go. And 3S would help as well. Oh. You still tell it's got a lot more torque. Yeah. Than yours. Because it's been brushless, you know? Yeah. Yeah, mine even on low speed. Yeah, still you still. A little bit more, little bit more power. Yeah, you're still clearing those jumps. Yeah. I just can't get any clearance at all.
All right, guys, gonna leave it there. Battery's getting a little bit low. So as you can see, little Maverick Atom 118 scale brushed. This will get a brushless upgrade and also some uh, some better shocks. It's only got the friction shocks there at the moment. But like I said, guys, $78 from Hobby Co. So I will leave a link in the description where to get one. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. So I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. Obviously, it is a little bit slow. It's just a small little car on a brush motor. It does a job for someone who just wants to start into the hobby world. But uh, yeah, it's a good little car, good entry level. So yeah, check them out, guys. You can get them in different colors as well. I think you can get them in red and in green also. So yeah, guys, uh, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.